you know, I, I'd only been there a, a couple of months. Um, I was going on, uh, Gene had left. I was making my first trip up to Winnipeg and uh, at TV when we were taping uh, interviews, Vern said, hey, uh, when we get back from Winnipeg, uh, I want to bring you out to uh, the, the, the barn, which was where he had, you know, his school. And he said, you know, I was just thinking that, you know, Greg and I and a couple of guys, you know, if we show you some of the holes, it'll probably help you. Because back in those days, I was doing the interviewing, I was doing the play-by-play, -play, and sometimes I would ring announce as well. Vern said, I think it'll really help and bring out the play-by-play. The -play. And I mean, I knew what was going on, but I guess, you know, I was still a little naive. And I said, you know, okay, you know, fine. Uh, and then the night before we were leaving for Winnipeg, I get a call from Hull and it's like, why is Hull calling me? And he said, you know, where do you live? And I tell him, he said, I'll pick you up on the way to the airport tomorrow. Uh, I'll give you a ride to the airport. And I'm thinking, you know, Brother. okay, but you know, he said, I'll pick you up at like nine o'clock or whatever. I'll be out front. And I arranged to have a buddy of mine on standby. Cause you know, I didn't know Hulk all that well. We got along great, but, you know, is this guy pulling a rib where suddenly he's not going to pick me up and I'm going to miss a plane and get, you know, so I didn't know, but, you know, Hulk comes up, picks me up and we're going out. And he said, look, he said, you're not stupid. You know, this whole thing is a work, right? He said, whatever you do, don't go out to that barn because all they want to do is hurt you and make you believe that all this stuff is real. 